Hi guys! Thank you all so much for clicking on my video and welcome to my channel, Love Anastasia. Today's video is the third of my spring cleaning series and today I am tackling the kitchen. I really hope that this video gives you all motivation to spring clean, declutter, and organize your kitchens. I had a few very specific goals in mind when I was going into cleaning on this day. First was to organize in here. Um, this is where we keep a lot of our kitchen items that we use on a regular basis and it's just really disorganized. I wanted to clean up in here. I also wanted to wash all of our cabinets because that's something that I have not done in a long time as you can see. And I also wanted to clean under our sink. It was pretty gross under there. I knew I needed to wash our trash can and just sanitize this area. And of course, because it's spring cleaning, I also had plans to organize uh, the kitchen. But first, I am going to start cleaning in the inside of the dishwasher with the Lemmy Shine dishwasher cleaner. And this is something that I do every month. If you haven't seen the video where I describe my monthly cleaning routine, I'll have the link in the description box. I started cleaning around the bar. Um, I moved it back so I can vacuum behind it so that I could wash the baseboards. I'm washing the baseboards with a solution of hot water and powdered Tide. And whenever you'll see me using that yellow microfiber cloth, that means that that's the solution that I'm using. And whenever the water would get cold or dirty, I would switch it out. I think by the end of this day, I had switched out my water six or seven times. After vacuuming the slider, I am also just giving it a quick clean. Now I'm going to use Windex and microfiber cloths to clean the sliding glass doors. And I also wanted to say if you'll look in the description box, you'll see links to some of the items that I am using in case you were interested in getting them for yourself. And if there's something that I haven't linked and you wanted help finding it, just let me know in the comments and I'll put up a link for you. Now that the area around the bar is clean, I can get started on cleaning the bar itself. I'm going to clean the surface of the bar with the Pledge Multi-Surface Antibacterial Spray and a microfiber cloth. I was really excited when I found this coffee mat at TJ Maxx. As you saw, I kept um, paper towels underneath the bamboo mat, and that's just to like help pick up any spills, um, but I didn't like that. Obviously, it's paper towels. I had to constantly throw them away, but this is uh, something that I can toss into the washing machine, which I'm really excited about, so I'm going to keep that underneath the bamboo mat, and that's hopefully just going to help me keep this area clean. Now I'm going to clean our coffee maker with the Barkeeper's Friend um, coffee cleaner. I really like this product and if you want more information on it, I did make a video where I did a review of it and I showed how I cleaned my coffee maker with it. And if you're interested in that video, I'll have the link in the description box for you guys. Now I can finally begin cleaning the inside of this bar. First I am just going to pull everything out, obviously, so that I can clean everything. And I'm also going through here to see if maybe some items in here shouldn't really belong in here. Uh, there were a few things that I did move into the garage because I knew that we did not use them on a regular basis and I just wanted it out of the way.
the bottom two drawers of our bar are our junk drawers and I definitely knew that on this day I wanted to clean up those drawers so that I could actually use them efficiently and there was all kinds of stuff in there, stuff that did belong in the kitchen, stuff that did not belong in the kitchen, like there were lots of office supplies in there for whatever reason. And something that I was doing on this day while cleaning was if I saw something and I knew exactly where it had to go, like the pens and the paper clips, then I did take it into the study straight away. But if there were things that I wasn't sure where I should probably put it, then I did just set it aside because I didn't want to lose any of my cleaning steam and I didn't want to distract myself by trying to organize everything in the house. I was trying to make a point of cleaning really everything that I was coming across so as you saw I cleaned the stand that has our knives and now I am wiping down our electric kettle and I do clean the inside of it with a half and half solution of distilled white vinegar and water. Now I'm going to move on to all of our cabinets and for the rest of this video I will just be pulling stuff out, vacuuming the inside, cleaning the inside and out with the Tide solution, and then I'm going to just try to better organize everything. I am going to do a follow-up video because I do want to better organize the cabinets that have food in it. Um, I don't like the system that we currently have and I also do not clean the fridge on this day and that is something that also needs to be done because I haven't done a really deep clean of the fridge since my New Year's cleaning. This drawer always drives me crazy. It's full of stuff that we do use, but the size or the shape of the stuff in there is just kind of clunky, and it was really hard to find places for them. So that was kind of like our kitchen junk drawer, um, but I was really proud of myself. I managed to find better homes for all of those items. I better organized it, and I actually managed to completely empty it out. Now I am moving on to this area under the sink. I spent a really long time cleaning here because it's right next to the dishwasher, so there's lots of splatter, and it's also where we keep our trash, so it, it's always just really dirty, and I knew that this was the section that I really wanted to clean. Uh, 
I got a little too carried away and I accidentally started uh, cleaning here before I vacuumed. Um, then I took the mat and I took it outside and I washed it with hot water, Tide, and bleach. And when I was done with it, I also washed the trash can. The trash can does need to be replaced here pretty soon because I think there's like paint in there and there are some things that um, I can't really clean out. But the main goal of today was just to sanitize it and this is something that I do seasonally. And once they were clean, I just left them outside to air dry for a few minutes and I took a short, short break. I bought that Lazy Susan uh, to specifically put it right there under the sink, but as you can see later, it doesn't quite fit, um, but I did really like the idea of having it there, and later on in the day, I do actually replace it with a smaller one that I had in our spice cabinet. Now I'm going to clean the garbage disposal with the Let Me Shine Disposal Cleaner and again this is something that I do every month. The Let Me Shine Disposal Cleaner takes oh, about 3-5 to five minutes and then once that was done I am cleaning the sink with the Barkeeper's Friend Powder. Once I scrubbed it in I let it sit for about 10-15 to 15 minutes and then I continued cleaning the sink. Once I finish cleaning the sink, then I go over it with a paper towel and that is just to buff the sink and it's also to pick up any remaining powder. Whenever I do my seasonal cleans, I always have something that I really want to focus on. So this time I am washing all of the cabinets, I'm cleaning the insides of them. When I did my New Year's cleaning, I focused on washing the walls and the ceiling. So that's why I'm not really doing as much of it this time around because I know that the walls are fairly clean and our ceiling was actually recently repainted after um, repairs were done in our kitchen. The inside of our dishwasher is now clean and I'm just going to quickly clean the outside of it using the Wyman stainless steel spray and a microfiber cloth. I do take my time washing this wall and this baseboard because it's the very first thing that you see whenever you walk into our kitchen and it's just always really dirty. I think it's because it's right next to the dishwasher so things naturally splash onto there um, and I don't really clean this wall as often as I should and it's just always driving me kind of crazy but um, I do take the time to really clean it and once that was clean our kitchen just felt much brighter and cleaner instantly. This cabinet is so embarrassing and it was something that I told myself for sure had to be done. Um, it's just 
packed full of vitamins and medications and sometimes we'll open it and stuff just flies out at us so I knew that I definitely wanted to really organize it and clean this section so first I am pulling absolutely everything out of there so I can see everything that we have and then I vacuum the inside and then I wash the inside just continuing on with the same process that I've been doing all day put all of our vitamins on the very top shelf because I knew that that's something that we don't need to reach for every day because we do have weekly vitamin boxes so I just wanted them further out of the way and next I'm going through all of our medications and I'm sorting it uh, you may recognize that bin from my previous video that's the bin that I put in underneath the bathroom sink and I said that I had plans for it And there's the final product. I'm really excited about this. I love to organize stuff and I just really like that now if we ever need something I know exactly where to reach for it and I can actually see everything now so I know if I'm ever going to be running low. Now I am moving on to our other embarrassing cabinet. There used to be a system to this craziness. Um, it's not anywhere near as organized as I want it to be. It's really hard to see what we have. Sometimes I buy doubles of things because I think I'm out of something and then later I find out that I have like five bags of panko crumbs. So I'm taking everything out so that I can clean the inside and then I'm also going to check the expiration dates on everything and then I am going to make a much better system for all of this. I don't even know how all of this fit in there. There's so much. Um, there weren't really that many expired products in there, so when you see the final product, it's not as if I threw away half of everything that was in there. Um, I just guess I found a much better way to organize everything. Right now, I am sorting everything by category to make things easier for myself when I start putting everything back um, in its proper place. I was really tired by this point, so right there I'm not talking to anyone, that is just me talking to myself trying to figure out the best way to arrange everything. Um, and I do end up following the old system that I had. I wanted to have my baking items closer to me because I don't like getting my step stool every time I want to bake, but um, the way the shelves are set up, it was just easier to have baking goods on the top, oils on the second shelf, and our spices on the bottom shelf. Now that I actually cleaned out all of the medications and random stuff that were in those drawers, I actually had room to bring out all of the cans that we had in our garage. And I also finally found a permanent home for our vitamin boxes because I really didn't like having it on the countertops. And now we finally have room for it. To clean the crevices between the countertop and the oven, I just put a paper towel over a butter knife. The last 
last thing that I really needed to clean was our spice drawer. Um, I pull everything out to make sure everything can get cleaned. And these are spices that we do use very regularly, so that's why I like to have it right there next to the uh, um, oven instead of having it up in the spice cabinet. And while I was doing this, I was like, yep, I definitely live in New Mexico because we have like five different types of chili powders and they all have their very specific purposes. <laughs> I am cleaning the outside of the oven using the Wyman stainless steel spray. I don't clean the inside of it because I did give it a really good clean during my New Year's cleaning and it just didn't really need to be cleaned. So I decided to save my energy and leave it for my summer seasonal clean. This is something that I definitely needed to do. Usually whenever I am giving the kitchen a deep clean, I focus on the oven and then I always forget about this little drawer. Um, there was just lots of dust and lots of sticky grease. So first I vacuumed everything up and then I washed it with more of the Tide solution. Before I moved on from the oven, I realized that I forgot to clean that glass portion of the oven, so I'm cleaning it with the um, Pledge Multi-Surface Spray. And then uh, when I turned around, I realized that I forgot to wash the baseboards on that side of the kitchen, so I quickly took care of that. And now I am almost done. I am moving on to cleaning the outside of the fridge using the Wyman Stainless Steel Spray. And as I mentioned, I don't clean the inside of the fridge on this day because at this point I was approaching 10 hours of cleaning. I was really tired, so I decided to set that aside for another day and just clean the outside. I had vacuumed around the fridge multiple times on this day, but I knew that there was still a lot of dust under there that I couldn't reach without moving the fridge, and I saw this trick someone showed on Instagram to just use a Swiffer duster and uh, shove it underneath the fridge and just look at how much dust I pulled out. Con at this point was getting a little cranky because we were approaching dinner time, and if you like his adorable little sushi collar, I do have a link for it in the description box. I was a little frustrated that I forgot to throw this into the wash as soon as I started cleaning the kitchen, but it's okay. I wiped this side of the fridge with a Clorox antibacterial wipe. And here's the final product of inside the bar. It might look pretty messy, but it makes sense to me. As I mentioned earlier, I replaced that larger Lazy Susan with a smaller one that I already had, and now everything fits perfectly. Before I steam up, I spray the floor with the Bone Up Hard Surface Cleaner, and then I just take my time really steam mopping the floor. Con was very cranky at this point because I was about a half hour late with dinner. If you guys are still here, that means that you enjoyed this video, so please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on the rest of my spring cleaning series. And also, be sure to follow me on Instagram at cleanwithloveanastasia, where I try to post daily cat, coffee, and cleaning content. I was so tired that day that I actually forgot to take um, after videos that evening, uh, but luckily I remembered in the morning while everything was still really clean before life happened. 
I was really happy with how well I organized everything. I actually managed to have that bottom drawer completely empty, as well as having another cabinet in the kitchen that was also completely empty. So I'm going to do a follow-up video where I'm going to better organize all of the food items that I have in the kitchen and clean the inside of the fridge. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it gave you guys plenty of spring cleaning, decluttering, and organizing motivation.